So, see, what happened in Daniel chapter 3 is this. You see, I had to jump because I want to end quickly. God can shield by the skin of an animal. He can shield by the blood. He can shield by the word. He can shield by his name. And he can shield by angels. If you read Daniel chapter 6, you know when they threw Daniel into the den of lions, uh, an angel came and shut the mouth of lions. When you read Acts of the Apostles chapter 12, the night before they were to kill uh, Peter, an angel came and took him away. By the time the enemies arrived, they discovered that the blood had flown. But you see, there are occasions when God cannot even send an angel. So he comes himself to show that fire passes fire. That there is a fire that can, over, that can swallow the fairy furnace. If there's any of you that is already in fire, in the name that's above every other name, you are coming out of that fire for promotion. But then, let me round up. How do we get our children to be absolutely shielded? Shielded from sickness, shielded from failure in examinations, and I thank God for <laughs> I thank God for the testimony of that young man, the lecturer who said you are not going to pass. I will see to you you don't pass. <laughs> the Almighty God uh, removed him. Every mountain before my children shall be moved tonight. There is a God who answers by fire. So that God expects you, the parents, to pray for your children. When you pray to him on behalf of your children, he will answer you. There are several examples in the Bible. When people came to God and said, ah, my daughter is grievously vexed of the devil. Come and help me. And Jesus Christ said, don't worry yourself. That case is done. Uh, uh, what do you call this fellow? Jairus said, Lord, please come. My daughter is about to die. I'll come quickly before she dies. The Lord said, don't worry yourself. We'll take care of that. And so on and so forth. So God expects you parents to pray for your children. And as you pray, he will answer you by fire. You see, because he, he had always said that uh, the reason you don't get results is because you fail to pray. So we parents in particular, we are the one who will do a lot of prayers tonight. You, you are going to cry unto him. You are going to say, well, it is written in your word, according to Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, that uh, as for me and the children that God had given unto me, we are for signs and wonders. Uh, Lord God Almighty, shield me by fire, shield my children by fire. Let my neighbors come to me one of these days and say, wait a minute, how come your children are never sick? How come your children never fail in school? How come your children are always shining? 
And so I will have an opportunity to tell them, I've told you, come to Jesus Christ. You see, as soon as I gave my life to Jesus Christ, myself and my children became signs and wonders. But then you say, I have an assignment. In addition to praying for them, the Bible made it abundantly clear that you have a duty to train up these children in the way they should go so that when they grow old, they won't be able to depart from it. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs 22, verse 6. He said, train up your child in the way he should go so that when the child grows, the child will not be able to depart from it. So you have a duty. Of course, how can you train a child in the way of the Lord if you yourself don't know the Lord? I remember an occasion some children were gathered and uh, somebody was asking one child after the other to sing a chorus. And then they got to the children of a particular woman. First one, give us a chorus. No answer. Ah. Second one, no answer. Ah. Third one, no answer. Why? Because mama herself, she, she can't even sing a chorus. Teach your children, train them while they are still young. And please remember, there's something very peculiar about children. They remember more what they see than what they hear. You need to find that out to be the truth. The children watch you at home. They see your actions. So if you are saying something, and you are doing the opposite, that opposite which you are doing, that's what they will copy. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that all our homes will become homes of the living God. So let me give you an opportunity, those of you who are parents, and those of you who are children who are old enough to understand what I'm talking about, if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, please come. But make sure if you come with children, if you are coming forward to surrender your life to Jesus, bring your children with you. Because you might not be able to locate your seat when you are going back. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ so that you become a member of the family of the Most High God, come now. Come very quickly. And we will pray. The blood of Jesus Christ will wipe away your sins. And as soon as your sins are, are gone, you will have free access to the Almighty God. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, you want His blood to wash away your sins, come now. The Lord is calling you. I'm going to count from 1 to 12, because I know some of you will be coming from a very long distance. So come. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. Let his blood wash away your sins so that your prayers will no longer be hindered, so that you'll be able to get direct access to the Almighty God. I'm counting now. One. That'll be prayer point number one. And if your own children are not among, your own thanksgiving will be an act of faith, thanking God that uh, it's already settled by this time next year, your children will be here. Then prayer point number two, you will cry to the Almighty God, please don't let me ever be ashamed. Don't let me ever be ashamed.
Prayer point number three is, Father, cover my entire family in your blood. So that death will stay away from us. Cover us in your blood so that death will stay away from all of us. The next prayer point will be, Father, send your word to me. again and again to shield me from all forms of destructions. Send your word to me to shield me from all forms of destruction. In the next prayer point you will say Father, myself and my children, we run into your name for cover. That name that is a strong tower. My children and I will run into that name. Keep us safe. There. And then, Father, shield me and all mine by fire. Shield me and all mine by fire. After that, you can then add your own special prayer. Now, if you are coming to the altar. Hi, precious beloved. You're welcome to RCCG SCP TV YouTube channel. As God's word through our dad in the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, has come to us. Get encouraged get inspired testimonies abounds of the lost doing of the wonders of the lord in and midst in this nation in our lives in the world from the left to the right northwest east south everywhere jesus is real he keeps making himself manifest in every sphere of influence doing wonders healing the sick raising the dead bringing things alive granting promotions saving the souls of men ensuring that men are revived, coming to the light and the fullness of the knowledge of the Lord, ensuring that his perfect will and purpose for your life is made manifest. I want you to stay tuned with the Lord. Don't give up. God is still working on your matter. God is still writing your story. Despite how tragic your story may look like, despite how life has told your story to many people, despite how your past life might have been. Jesus is still a merciful God. Jesus remains a faithful God. He will not give up on you. He will receive you into his life, refreshing your life, repackages you, refurnishes you, and send you to the world. It is not over yet. God is still doing wonders with your life. I'd like you to hold on to the Lord as I dad in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, on this platform, the word of the Lord being released from his mouth. Claim every word of the Lord. Receive them in your life. Believe them and see to it by faith and prayer that they come to pass in your life. Don't give up on God because it's not over until God said so. And because God had not said so, your life is destined for greatness. Your life is destined for revival, destined for newness. Do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with every of our uploads. 
Don't also forget to share this video to your loved ones, your family and friends. Let them also get blessed. Let them come into the family of Jesus. Let them get saved. Let them also get connected with Jesus. Live a holy life and get set for heaven. God bless you.